What is going on, guys? Samurai Solo and I am back with EA Sports GFC 3. Getting some fights in with Kelvin Gastelum. First fight here, we're facing Jacare Souza. See what this guy's doing with Jacare here. One of my favorite fighters of this game and in real life. Yep, he wanted to push me towards the fence. See if we can't block him. Yep, stop that one. Stop that one. I remember when a lot of people thought this position was OP, but it's not too bad. Once you figure it out, we block that. See if we can't put him on the fence now and break. There we go. We're out. Yeah. I mean, I still make mistakes because I just don't play this game enough. But that, that position, I remember when, it first, when they first introduced that driving takedown mechanic and the little fence game there. A lot of people are like, that's OP. It's not fair. But, like, once you know what to do, you can block that in your sleep. Even when people are faking and stuff, there's big windows to still block stuff. You know, just going to practice and get used to those animations, what they look like, so you can get better at, at stopping that. And they'll kill their stamina going for takedowns. Like, if they keep if they keep doing that and you keep blocking them, they're going to lose lots of stamina from that, too. Yeah, I used a little baby sidestep there because I thought he was... I knew he was in a spin, but it was to my head this time, not to the body. Trying to make him miss that a little bit, waste stamina. See, I do it right there again. I don't like spamming that out there, but when guys are spinning a lot, as we drop them there, I'll use it. Slip over those uppercuts. Rock them again. Ooh, I thought he was going to be backing away. That's right through that body kick. He's, man, some guys will just stay there. Man, look at his stamina already. It's pretty bad. He's dropped again. This is going to kill his stamina worse. His head health is already compromised. Yeah, you're not going to get that one. Nope. Thought he was gonna, I thought he was going to do that driving takedown, but he didn't do it. He let me circle away. Maybe he knows he can't get it. Doesn't want to waste more stamina. Oh, those double uppercuts finally got me. Whoa. <laughs> kind of glitched out there, but it did. we did stop that takedown. As soon as I got rocked, I pretty much pre-did that, though. I did do it, so I think it would have stopped without it glitching. And that's it. Yeah, we damaged his head health early on. He was just way too aggressive. Way too aggressive on the feet. Once he, didn't, he couldn't get that taken on the cage, he decided just to, you know, kind of go crazy at us. And we got him out of there. And that's the one thing with Jacare, as great as he is, and he is great. His chin health in this game is not the best, and neither is his uh, stamina, his striking stamina, I believe, at least. And maybe his overall endurance. And Kelvin, man, I'm telling y'all, he is so underrated in this game. I've never checked him out until he was supposed to fight Robert Whitaker when Whitaker got injured, as y'all remember. That's when I first time I ever used Kelvin, and he's he's really good, really underrated. Good, I mean, he's short. That's the bad thing, I guess, you know, but he has really good boxing. See the stats there, but... First fight down, on to the next. All right, here we're facing Anderson Silva. See if he wants to touch it up. All right, appreciate that. Let's see what this guy's going to do. I'm going to have to get inside a little bit here, so I am going to have to kind of stay close to him. Because if I don't, Silva can just kind of kick me all day, right? Or maybe I could try to hang on the outside and bait him to throw a kick and catch him with an overhand. Or step in with a jab hook or whatever. A body shot. A solid body shot. Yep, just like that. Oh, I was looking for a takedown. Silva actually does have a pretty solid ground game on top and off his back. Especially off his back, though, I think. I don't even know what his rating is, but he has some nice moves. He has the full guard if you get him in side control. He can go right back. He has a nice triangle choke. So you do have to be careful on the ground with him. You know, you can underestimate him a little bit. I mean, in real life, he is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Slip him there. Straight into the hook. Oh, 
Oh, we just, man, I don't know if he didn't block or what. And we, man, still not. And now he's getting a little wild. Yep, does that again, man. We're going to make him pay every time with that overhand. Oh, you see how my hook badly my hook missed? What is up with that accuracy? I mean, that was like six inches away from his face there. Yeah, I'm not too sure if this guy knows what he's doing. He was like trying to block a takedown there. Let me just get some free shots to his head there. I haven't even shown that I want to do a takedown. Oh, got me there on that one. Nice. Look at that. Look how low he's letting his stamina go. And there's like no rhyme to what he's throwing. You see that? He's rocked again. Wow, really? That didn't knock him out? Jab, 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 jab into the overhand. Oh, that knocked him out. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure if this guy knew what was going on. He was just kind of do, doing some weird stuff. Especially inside the pocket, the combos he was throwing. There was just no rhyme or reason to him. And I have trouble sometimes with stuff like that. I get hit with the silly stuff, at least for a little bit. Because, you know, you're, you know, you're expected to see certain things in the game. And then when you see something weird, it throws me off. Was he about to throw? Man, he did not even block any of those. I don't know what he was doing there. He was going for a backswing on that jab, but we hit him with the rest of the stuff. I don't know why he didn't press block. Maybe he couldn't. I don't know. Maybe he was frozen there. See the stats there, but we'll take it. We'll go ahead and do one more fight with Kelvin, guys. Be right back. All right, here we are. We are facing Michael Bisping and... Appreciate the glove touch. And with Bisping, you have to be careful. Endless cardio It's the main thing you have to worry about him. And I see the guy going to my body. Very smart. I could throw one to his. Answer him right back there. And this guy's pretty aggressive. As a lot of Bisping players are, I've noticed, in this game. I guess that's also because of his cardio. You know, you can throw a ton of strikes and still, he'll still be there. He doesn't get tired. This guy's varying up his strikes a little bit. Threw a jab hook there. And he's also... Oh, I did not expect that at all. I wasn't even pre-blocking. or by, I didn't even, by the time I responded to that, I knew it was too late. I didn't expect him to try to take me down. Try to catch him off guard with that backside. Sometimes you can catch people off guard with that. Not often, but sometimes. Let's take our time here. No rush. Up, oh, couldn't block that. I want to stay patient here and uh, not waste too much stamina. Pick our time and when to stand up. Maybe we'll just sit here until the ref gets us up. As soon as I started to stand up, he he went over. <laughs> it's funny. We just take our time. It's not a big deal. There we go. We're up. I really expected him to block that. Surprised he didn't. And you know what? Let's take him down. So no one else scared of the ground game either. We'll take him right down. He blocked my head kick and took me down. He whiffed on his leg kick. We'll take him down. Work a little bit of this ground game. Up, oh, not letting me have that crucifix. Yeah, I was pre-blocking that already. As soon as he blocked my crucifix, I knew he was going to try to sprawl out. And this guy knows what he's doing. Kelvin does have stack guard, but he can't go straight from it from the, you know, like if you're not postured up in full guard, he can't go from that to, you know, posture up to stack. The little trick you can do there, you have to posture up first, then stack. Yeah, he's not going to let us have that crucifix. He's going to go up, I bet. Watch. Yep. Okay. Oh, he still, still couldn't get it. I should have dropped the elbow there first, then did it. Yeah, that's the thing with that crucifix. It's a very slow transition. Let's stay here a little bit. Marshall Mine's been, you know, he loves his position because he loves doing just this, trying to block people and just dropping body knees. So I'm going to do the same thing like he does. I'm a bootleg one to be Marshall Mine, right? <laughs> All right, he's able to break from us. That's fine. We've both shown we can take each other down. Good body kick. He's doing a good job of mixing the strikes up. He's throwing some to my body.
All right, very, very good first round. See the stats here. Very close first round on top of that, too. He did throw more, landed more. But they also count little strikes on the ground landed. Even if you're not posh up, I think they count it as a landed strike. So that was an extremely close round. We both landed some nice strikes. We both took each other down. We both controlled each other. It can honestly go either way. I think he did probably come forward a little bit more at me. So if, I, if I'm being honest, I think I would maybe give the edge to him. But I mean, it was really close. Here we go, round two. I never mean to throw that head kick like that. When I'm in the south pulse stance, for some reason, I keep pulling on the L1. I don't know why. I don't do that when I'm like in orthodox. It's weird. Oh, nice. I didn't go to my body there. That was a very risky leg kick by me. Yep, he tried to slip over. We caught him with that hook. And man, look at this. We are having a firefight right now. We're going at it. Oh, man. That's the thing with Kelvin, you know. He's a little bit shorter, so you got to get inside to make sure to land your strikes. Whiffed on that leg kick. Yep, just like how I whipped on that hook, even though he uh, he missed on that head kick. I should have thrown a body kick. I really thought it was going to land, though. Yeah, that's the only thing with Kelvin. He, but this guy is bringing the fight to me for the most part. He's coming at me, so. But if they're not, you kind of have to press a little bit with Kelvin because he's so short. But Kelvin has good power. His strike speed is really... His striking speed is only an 89, but he has fluidity plus 4, I believe. So it bumps it up to 93 when you're throwing combos. He doesn't have a, a ton of cool moves. He has a Superman punch, and that might be about it. He might have a couple other things I'm forgetting, but I think that's about it. But, man, we are going at it here in this round. And stamina-wise, we're doing okay. Me and him are look like we're kind of even. I can miss there. This guy's doing a good job of working my body here and there, but he's not getting greedy with it. I let my stamina drop a little bit too low there, throwing that four hitter. But he didn't he didn't really make me pay off it. I should have saw that slow body kick coming. I really should have. Oh man, no rock off the jab uppercut hook. There we go. He stood he stood there after we landed that combo. He had to back away and let that head health regenerate. He stayed there, ate that hook hook, dropped him. Okay, so now I feel a bit better because now I know we've won this round as long as we don't get dropped. His head health is getting messed up too now. Yeah, if this was a five-round fight, I'd be a little nervous because of my stamina, but it's only three rounds, so... And it's not it's not too bad, actually, considering I'm, we've thrown a lot of strikes. I know I've thrown over 100 strikes. We'll check after the end of this round. But we've been fairly accurate. Like even like I said, even strikes have his hit his block. As long as they hit the block, like I say that every video, it's it's okay usually. You know, you can throw a lot of strikes as long as you make sure to hit them. Even if it's just a block. Alright, very good round. Yeah, 113 to 106. Uh stats were very even. He he landed a few more six strikes, but he threw fourteen more to land five more. So we landed at a higher percentage. And also, we had the knockdown. That's going to give us the round alone, no matter what the stats say, which they were very close anyway. Without that knockdown, though, that's another very close round, but knockdown gives it to us. So it could be it could be 1-1, one one, or it could be 2-0 for me. I, I think it's 1-1, one one, though. His head health has been compromised, so hopefully we can get some rocks here. Nice pullback by him there. There we go. We rock him. Who I went for it there. <laughs> that stamina regenerate 
fake that overhand, wanted to see how he would react. He really didn't do anything. Nice duck by him. He threw a leg kick, and I bet you he meant to throw an uppercut. I bet he meant to duck into the uppercut, and it gave him a leg kick instead. Poor guy. I've been there. I know how that feels. There we go. We time him with a jab uppercut hook, get a drop on him. Now he's going to need a finish here. I want to finish him, though. His head health is so low right now. We can get him. Our stamina is high enough to where we can keep throwing pretty good, too. Yeah, he's getting a little sloppy there with that head kick. There we go. Jab, jab, straight. Change the animation. End it with the hook. There we go. Pull. Man, I got I I to counter him. I did a good job pulling back there. I didn't counter him, though. Should have countered with a straight. Yep. Got to be careful. I'm reaching a little bit there. Me and myself miss. Ooh, yeah, I went crazy there. Oh, rocked again. Oh, I meant to throw the uppercut. It gave me a jab, and he ducked too. That would have gotten him. I was throwing jab, hook, lead uppercut straight. And I went jab, hook, and it gave me the jab instead of the uppercut. Rocked him again, though. Man, he's, how many times has he been rocked? Dang, man, I could have had him out of there. Another rock. Yeah, he's he's done nearly. Oh, wow. I did hit him with the uppercut there. Didn't give it to me. Another rock. How many rocks is that? Like five rocks? I want this finish. I don't think we're going to get it, though, guys. Oh, with one second left, we got it, guys. Man, that was fun. One second left. I went crazy there at the end when I got that last rock. Man, we had I don't know how many rocks on him in that round. He kept surviving. He would not go away. I think I could have got him earlier if I wouldn't have accidentally thrown that jab. Because he ducked right into he would have ducked right into my lead uppercut, but like I said, I, it gave me the jab instead. I hate that. That was a fun fight though. That was a good fight though, but man, just uh we just took over in that third round. Once again we threw a ton of strikes. We probably threw over hundred strikes that round too. Same as the second one, but sometimes it's fun to have firefights like that. You know, I didn't really plan for that fight to kind of happen like that, but he kind of bought the fight to me, and I, then when I rocked him so many times, I wanted that finish, so then I really started going crazy. You see the first round very close. Second round, we, we see the stats there. See how many I threw in the third round here. Same amount of strikes. Seven wobbles. Wow. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. I do appreciate y'all watching. This was a fun one. I'll catch you all next time. Have a great day. Peace.